Hello boys and girls. This week in art, we are looking at how artists create visual movement in art. So we're going to look at the artist Keith Haring and how he creates these people that look like they're moving. So we're going to start off with paper and a pencil and we're just going to make some stick people in any pose that we want. So I'm going to make some silly legs that have this kind of rectangular shape and I'm going to have an arm that comes down and another arm that goes up. So it's kind of like a stick person, but we're going to add to it. On the other side of my paper, I'm going to do a person doing a headstand. So their legs are going to be up in the air and their arms are going to be down like a rectangle towards the ground. So once I have my people drawn on my paper, I'm going to outline the shape that I created with the hands. So all those little stick line people are going to be outlined around. So we're going around the shape to create the form of our people. So again, you can choose any pose that you want. So make sure you go start in pencil. That way, if you do a pose that you don't actually want, you can erase it and try a different pose that you want your, per your people to have. So doing the same thing on my other person, I'm going around the stick line part and creating the body for my people and the silly poses that they are doing. So make sure that you create two people, one on one side of your paper and the other one on the other side of the paper. So you should have two characters with silly poses. Once you have them outlined, you don't need that center line anymore. Uh, so then go ahead and use your eraser and erase that center line. That was just the structure to help us, to help guide us to create our Keith Haring style people. So once I have all the lines erased, I am going to go in with a marker and color them in. So I decided to use warm and cool colors for my Keith Haring people. So on one side, I'm just using cool colors. So cool colors are purple, blue, and green. So those are the only colors I can use for this person that I'm working on now. So I'm going to go ahead and outline and color in my handstand person with purple. For my other Keith Haring inspired person, I'm going to use warm colors. And warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. So for this person, I can only use those colors for this side. So I'm going to outline my person in red and then color him in red.
So once I've colored in my people doing their silly pose, I want to show that they are moving in some way. And a lot of times the way that artists show movement is by repetition. And what repetition means is it repeats. So something is going to repeat over and over. And a lot of times you see that this repetition with pattern. So I am going to go around my characters that I've created and create a pattern of color. So right now I am outlining my purple person with blue. And once I'm done with blue, I will use another cool color. So the last cool color that I have is green and I will outline my blue line with a green line and then it needs to repeat. So I do blue again and then green again and then blue again and then green again to make that repetition to show movement in my artwork. So I'm going to re continue repeating those two colors over and over again until I reach the edge of, of the paper. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side except with warm colors. So I have my red character and I'm outlining with orange and yellow and then orange and yellow, orange and yellow all the way to the end. So you can see that I, we have our people showing movement and we have repetition with color to make it look like the people are moving. We can also add some little lines to indicate motion as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much and I can't wait to see what you create.